Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, um, I hate to give uh, bad news, but um, I have to kind of bring this up just because uh, for Stepin, like the last update uh, wasn't really good. Um, and the community was kind of like, you know, uh, you know, the ranging from depressed to um, angry and and it doesn't seem like the uh, the community, the, the team members are doing anything to, to address uh, things. Um, so I guess like I want to express the problem from like a user point of view, uh, like could step in uh, be doomed to fail because of like their botched updates, um, and I think probably, uh, and like my risk taking um, was not smart. You know, in hindsight, um, and it could be a long way back to like uh, breaking even on like my initial investments. Um, recently, their 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 update. Um, they're rolling out a step in app on like the Ethereum um, chain, um, uh, but like you know, part of the thing is like they were giving out free, I think, uh, free mints to um, Board A Dot Hub uh, holders, which was this isn't a bad thing. Like it's good for 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 marketing, but I think they, I guess, like they, they underestimated kind of like the backlash that was gonna come, because uh, you generally speaking, like if you can afford um, like a board a yacht club, you're probably doing well financially, um, and, and it makes it seem like you know they're giving away free money to uh, board a yacht hub uh, holders, and you know they they may or may not uh, join in the ecosystem, so that so like from the point of view of like people that are on Solana or the Binance Smart Chain, it seems like kind of like a slap in the face, um, and right now like. The uh, Solana, like the pricing for for sneakers, um, it looks like it's in a dust pile, um, and it seems like it makes it seem like there's a uh, subsidies going out to um, you know people that are like you know doing well. Um, and in fact, uh, one of the step in uh, updates, like they they said that uh, they they made quite a bit of money, uh, like in the hundreds of millions. Um, so you know, it, it seems like. Like it's like reverse Robin Hood situation where, where you're taking from like the poor and the middle class and giving it to the rich. So that 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 was kind of like one misstep. Um, and they also made it more expensive for certain items. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so I keep asking myself, why did I go deeper um, into step in um, at the time? That you know I knew like the token the tokenomics were um, you know they they were pretty bad. Uh, but I thought, like, you know, maybe there's a chance. Um, at the time, like, we were still getting paid. Um, but right now, like, we're barely getting paid. Uh, because the the main, um, the utility token, GST, is, um, I, I think it's, like, six or seven cents um, at the time of this recording. Um, and a lot of people are kind of upset that, you know, they, the step in team, they just squander, like, their first move of advantage. Um, they started off well. Um, the app was was uh, pretty pretty good, um, but lately it's just been was the, the updates on the user experience has gotten worse, um, and they claim they're they're using like the funds to lay a better foundation for the future, and they keep saying that oh we're we're trying to make things better for the long term, but you need to do some uh, I guess like some some kind of like morale boost in the short term to make sure that. You can arrive at the long term. So, you know, if there's any step in members uh, listening, I hope you can kind of consider taking this into account. Um, so, in terms of my own personal situation, uh, thank goodness I didn't go too too deep. Um, I went. I started off with like one jogger, um, and then I bought two more walkers, wa uh, walkers, excuse me, to get to four energy, and then I bought like a whole bunch of fodder, like floor price kind of shoes to get to thirteen energy. Um, and, you know, in hindsight, I wish I could have, like, either waited or kind of just, like, cut my losses at that point. Um, my plan was to, to practice minting and to experiment, but the, the costs right now are, you know, for me, it, it doesn't make any more sense to pour in more money into the, uh, ecosystem right now. Um, so, like, the current situation is, like, we're, we're still... The good thing is like people could still earn the GST utility token, and then after that they can convert to either GMT, Solana, USDC, or if you know 
or, or, or if you're in the other realms, uh, you can convert it to BNB or ETH. Um, and then they keep promising, the team keeps promising um, GMT earnings, uh, but we don't know like how soon, uh, whether it's a month or next year or whatever. Um, the, you know, the communications haven't been that great. Uh, so a lot of prices are, are, are down uh, right now. Um, so in a way that's good, I guess like when you convert from GST to, to Sol, uh, you can get like more Sol back, but uh, I don't know, like the whole market seems like it's going, uh, like kind of like going through like a, a bear market rally. Um, so, so it's kind of annoying that, you know, the, the GST is, is going down while like the rest of the market seems like it's kind of like gaining some strength back. Um, and I realized that, you know, it's a difficult economic situation in general. And then it's also a crypto winter. Uh, but that doesn't excuse the step in team from executing uh, like the roadmap. And um, they, they keep under delivering, um, in my opinion. Um, and then there's also like supposed like sneaker and GMT burns that might help um, in the short term. Um, and, and it's kind of like, annoying to keep hearing like it's coming soon uh so like i think a lot of people are have lost patience and already exited the uh, ecosystem um which is a shame uh the fitness app you know it's not that bad um but like right now there, there's not much uh, value accrual um and they keep coming up with like new excuses every time like oh well we're this is a health first app uh but there are other health apps that, like, in fact, like, for example, like, Google Fit is free, so, like, you know, you know, they're, I need, I think they need to be aware that, you know, obviously they have competition, and they can't, you know, keep making excuses. I, I think they just need to come up with, like, some, some ideas to kind of, like, to, to boost the morale a little bit. Um, and I, I, I hate to call it discounts, but I mean at this point it's more like a uh, like a death spiral, um, and you know this this is taken from one of my older videos where like I try to explain that the Solana NFT price divided by the estimated GM tree uh, daily earnings will get you your cost recovery time, um, and even for new people like for example like the floor prices like I mentioned earlier they're below like one Solana now, but even taking to a, taking that into account, like if you're new, like your, your, your estimated GST daily earnings might not even cover like the one Solana. Um, so I would kind of like, uh, you know, obviously that's not financial advice, but if I were starting all, all over again, like I'd be really hesitant to kind of enter the ecosystem unless like I, if I, unless I, I uh, wanted to show some support and I just happened to be a daily jogger. Um, I think that might uh, might take the sting off a little bit um, because then like, you know, if you lose a little bit of money, it's not that big of a deal. Then you just move on to something else. Um, but for a lot, for a lot of folks that, that put a lot of like time and time, money, and energy, like it's, I mean, it's really bad news. Um, the NFT sneakers obviously have not held any uh, value. Um, so, so I would, you know, strongly consider people that are, that were, that were curious to maybe think about it, like do, do your own calculations to see if it, if it's worth their time or not. Um, and then you can use like the stepping guide link to kind of like, uh, help make your decision. Um, uh, so like, like right now, like, again, at the time of this recording, like one GST is like seven cents so um and for my own personal situation like i you know i i can't believe it like at, at the time i pumped in like over 100 100 solanas uh so that's like about five thousand bucks but i think in the future like 100 solanas will be worth more than that so right now i'm just you know in um cost recovery mode I'm just trying to like cut my losses by continuing because I, I I do walk daily, so my in my own personal situation I'm just trying to grab whatever I get, I can get, 
Um, if I happen to, to earn any gems along the way, I'll sell those. Um, yeah, so, like, I, I again, I hate to give bad news, but, like, it's... The situation is pretty pretty bleak. Um, I, I don't know when, like, if at all, that I'll be able to get back my... Um, my initial costs, uh, cause I like I guess like when I first started, like I, I still vaguely remember like GST being like hovering around the dollar. So I thought that you know at the time that there could still be a chance, um, but you know for new users again this is not financial advice or anything like that. But like I, I just want to kind of like warn people like that that we're um, considering it like maybe maybe holding off. Um, like again, like the only people that should consider this are people that jog regularly, um, and then the rewards aren't worth the uh, initial investment for most people. Um, as I mentioned earlier, like there, it's it, it costs a lot more money, um, and it's less rewarding now. Um, and then there's a, you know, they they have this new HP system, so basically you have to, in addition to like the repair system that they already have, they're throwing this on. It's like an additional cost on top of using your sneakers, so uh, and then you have to burn like um, comfort gems too. So and then the like the mystery boxes have like the cost of increase. So it's, I mean, it's really like aggravating, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Like for for a lot of people, um, I think that like the, the move to earn it's still an interesting concept. It might survive, but. Step in. I, I guess they they just blew like their their uh, first mover advantage. Um, and so you know they're they're probably not gonna make it. Um, so you know I would suggest if you're already in it as well, like you know just try to recover as much cost as you can. Um, so while like you know you know you can just kind of set yourself up for like the next bull market. Um. So, uh, you know, just to kind of recap the risk, like, this tokenomics are still bad. Um, it may have already death spiraled. Um, we might get lucky in, in the future, like, if the rest of the market pumps, like, there's a, maybe a small chance that GST or GMT might might get a little pump as well, but um, I, I wouldn't, you know, bet more of my money on it. Um, and again, like the cop competition, the copycats, like I've already started looking around the other ones. Like they're not in like that great shape either, but they could catch up. Um, and they, they could, uh, you know, they could learn from Stepin's mistakes. And like, you know, like it's kind of a shame. Like Stepin created the, the, um, the concept, but then like they, they botched the execution. Um, and then like the, there's like, you know, the, their updates lately have been pretty buggy. There was like that bot scandal, like from a few updates back, and now like, like the network is really congested during like this last update. Um, and the team, like they, they seem kind of tone deaf. Like they, I guess because they're making money, so they they're not feeling like the, uh, the heat. Um, but you know, I, it doesn't seem like they care. Uh, I mean, maybe they. They do, but like the the actions haven't shown anything. Like, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so like the project is supposedly profitable, but the average community member has not benefited. And they're saying like you know how like they're gonna avoid being like the next Axie Infinity, but ironically they they have. Um, you know the the rules keep changing. They keep like you know unfortunately the rules don't benefit the users like they keep uh like it seems like we're just paying more and more out of like the the dwindling um gst earnings uh, so uh, the situation is not that good like like the community has become like more annoyed like this this like less, less people and like people are now like more unfriendly um so it, it's just like a bad situation all around um so i would say like in general like the lessons learned, like just just watch out for inflationary tokens, um, and uh, just a reminder to myself, like to you know stop catching falling knives, um, and just be careful like greedy teams that that overpromise, uh, and like be skeptical skeptical of uh, like a uh, shiny Web three, supposed like Web three innovations, um, and then you know just like 
the warning signs are there, like, and then they just like run away when, like, the shills and like apologists like start popping up. They try to, like, even even now, like, there's still people trying to defend like the team's actions, but like they're, it's obviously not their the the stepping team hasn't been successful in the execution lately. Uh, so you know, I guess like for now, I'm just gonna just just uh. Uh, hang on as long as I can. Try to recover as much of my money as I of my initial costs as I can. Um, and then you know, just hope for the best. Uh, maybe, maybe in a future update there will be a. You know, I mean it would be like a miracle if they if they do manage to like to turn things around, but um, I wouldn't count on it. Uh, so you know, like just like the my usual uh, caveats. Uh, at the end of these things, uh, there's always contract risk. Um, gas fees can be high, uh, especially in the Ethereum realm. Um, none of this is financial tax advice. Uh, you know, obviously, this, this is DeFi, so there's definitely no refunds. Um, and I'm learning, again, like, crypto can collapse super quickly. Um, if you like this type of content, uh, please consider um, liking and subscribing. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, that, that really helps, like, you know, small channels like this. Um, so, hey, thank you for watching, and um, hopefully in the next video will be like better news. So, um, thank you, and have a great one now.